It's beyond imagination. The Tesla RoboTaxi, set to debut in August this year, has been confirmed by Elon Musk. Everything seems crazy with an autonomous EV that doesn't have a steering wheel or pedals, priced even below $25,000 compared to the later release Model 2. So, why did Elon decide to unveil the RoboTaxi earlier than expected? Let's get into it right now. Last weekend, information from Reuters revealed that Tesla's focusing efforts on developing RoboTaxis, deciding to show plans, at least for now, for an affordable car priced at $25,000. Reuters wrote, Tesla scraps low-cost car plans amid fierce Chinese EV competition. This information is really crazy because Model 2, previously announced by Tesla to debut in 2025, represents a revolution and is manufactured in an unprecedented way, as Musk stated. While millions are eagerly anticipating every day, even every second for this $25,000 EV, they seem to be hit with a cold shower with what Reuters just said. But is everything as it seems? Shortly after Reuters' post, Musk directly refuted it on X with the comment, Reuters is lying again. At this point, anger reached its peak for those who are fans of Model 2, thinking Reuters lost its transparency in the information they give. On the other hand, they also breathed the collective sigh of release because at least the $25,000 Model 2 was not abandoned as rumored. However, at this time, something more shocking happened. While Musk denied the story in the Reuters article, a few hours later, Musk posted a tweet to announce the company will unveil its RoboTaxi design later this summer. He shared, Tesla RoboTaxi unveil on 8-8. Musk's tweets make anyone fall into a state of disbelief not believing what they just read. What the heck is going on with Tesla? Tesla shares rose about 4% in the 30 minutes after the RoboTaxi announcement, $165 before and $172 after, while falling after the Reuters report. This means that Tesla is producing both Model 2 and RoboTaxi in parallel on a leaked platform called NV9X at the Texas factory. Not only that, but it's also had its design leaked many times. So, what does Tesla's RoboTaxi really look like in the real world? As for what RoboTaxi looks like, let's look back at the times it was leaked. I alluded to at the Giga Texas opening, uh, which is a, a dedicated robo taxi that's uh, highly optimized for uh, autonomy, uh, meaning it would not have steering wheel or pedals. Um, and th there are a number of other innovations around it that I think are quite exciting. In fact, if you pay close attention, Tesla's long been talking about robo taxis. Initially, they stated that all Tesla vehicles manufactured with suitable hardware would have full self-driving capability when the software reaches maturity. More specifically, Musk revealed plans for dedicated robo-taxis, a vehicle specifically designed for autonomous driving without a steering wheel or pedals. And in a shareholder meeting in 2022 to announce the company's first quarter profits, Musk announced plans to mass-produce self-driving robo-taxis and deploy them commercially by this year. We do a product event for robo-taxi next year and, and get into more detail. Um, but we, we are uh, aiming for um, volume production in 2024. Before Musk confirmed the launch of the RoboTaxi in August, everything seemed like an exaggeration from Elon Musk because from 2022 to the end of last year, neither Tesla nor Elon provided any further updates on what was called the RoboTaxi. In fact, many believed that it had been canceled to focus on the $25,000 Model 2 or other priorities suggesting that the RoboTaxi with Model 2 was impractical for Tesla due to its inability to manufacture and produce multiple generations of affordable vehicles. But now we know Musk kept his promise, and everything is unfolding just as he said it would. Regarding the fact that many people are still confused with the $25,000 electric car model, RoboTaxi and Model 2 are actually two different car models, but are part of the same NV9X project. Insider sources said that both this RoboTaxi and EV Gen 3 are produced under the Unbox process, a production line that's completely changed compared to Model Y and Model 3. The Unbox process is specifically only for producing compact models in an effort to push their prices 30% cheaper. If Model 2 is confirmed to be sold in 2025 for $25,000, RoboTaxi is expected to be just under $20,000 because of the minimalism coming from both the interior and exterior. It's trying to achieve the, the lowest uh, fully considered uh, cost per mile or cost per kilometer, uh, you know, if, if, if counting everything. I mean, it, on, looking at some of our projections, it, it, it would appear that uh, a robo-taxi ride will cost less than a bus ticket, a subsidized bus ticket. 
Let's talk about its much leaked design first. What Tesla could use for robo taxis? The second image in Walter Isaacson's book depicts Franz von Halsen's Tesla's chief designer standing next to a first generation robo taxi. This model is recreated with simple hardboard pieces, but clearly depicts the robo taxi's design. You can see it's markedly different from the model's Tesla previous outline, evident in the model's two seats and ample rear luggage space. It's important to understand that an efficient robo taxi should feature two lightweight seats with an ample rear luggage space instead of the four to five seats found in Model 2, unable to accommodate much in the way of passenger luggage. The Tesla robo taxi could be oriented towards carrying fewer passengers but accommodating more cargo weight with the available space in the rear. However, Tesla's RoboTaxi could also offer various options, such as two seats or four seats to cater to different pre-order demands in cases where customers prioritize carrying more passengers. For example, if there's only one passenger needing transportation with a small amount of luggage, using the two-seat RoboTaxi surface would be the ideal choice. This not only optimizes costs, but also provides a comfortable and private experience for that passenger. Conversely, when there are multiple individuals or a large amount of luggage, the four-seat service becomes more useful. This not only maximizes utility, but also helps reduce costs per passenger. Comparing Franz von Halshausen's image with another proposed image of the robo-taxi, the latter is a more accurate depiction of the detailed simulation of the upcoming Tesla robo-taxi. It's easy to notice the striking similarity between the two images, aligning about 90%, indicating a streamlined robotic taxi with a futuristic design Musk once mentioned as unprecedented. To describe the similarity, both images depict a curved shape on the top of the vehicle. We clearly see Tesla's design language, with a front fascia and a slight curvature at the front. There appears to be a wheel guard at the front as well, making the vehicle truly aerodynamic. It's not too difficult to recognize that in some aspects, it resembles an Aptera. From an exterior standpoint, this design is characterized by its ultra-low ground clearance and enclosed rear wheels. In our opinion, that doesn't seem to be an ideal scenario in areas with lots of snow. One notable feature is that you can see the doors open upwards instead of outwards, which could be designed to add convenience when getting in and out of the vehicle, while also emphasizing novelty compared to traditional models. The theory is that it could be automated, so when it arrives, it simply lifts up for passengers to board, at least for the robo-taxi version. Sometimes, falcon wings or butterfly doors make a lot of sense for a robo-taxi. Elon worries about people not closing doors. We bet they'll be fully automated to lift and lower on demand. There's also no risk of door collisions with another vehicle if they're parked close to each other. Some are speculating whether it's a three-wheeled vehicle with two wheels at the front and one at the back, but this seems unlikely. Tesla will still develop a four-wheeled robo-taxi, and this image is likely a representative of what Tesla will be applying to this model. Of course, this is just an illustration of the manufacturer's unique design. It should be noted that the Compact Model 2 and robo-taxi versions could share at least 40% similarity in design as they both aim for minimalism, but they'll suffer in that the robo-taxi may lack a steering wheel and pedals. It might have some additional functions around the vehicle, allowing you to enter a code at the gate and receive parking tickets. However, from some perspectives, we also believe that there will be another option if customers request a robo-taxi with a steering wheel and pedals. Not much different, and people can buy it to use for their own transportation if they want. However, regardless of its design, Elon Musk has also mentioned that Tesla's robo-taxi fleet will be highly flexible. He talks about Tesla owners being able to add their vehicles to the fleet while they're at work or when the vehicles aren't in use, meaning even vehicles with steering wheels will be considered robo-taxis. In terms of performance, currently we have only confirmed information that both the RoboTaxi and model will utilize the same LFP Gen 2 battery from Cattle. Thanks to the upgraded battery pack with a capacity of 53 kilowatt hours, the RoboTaxi will be able to operate for at least 250 miles before needing to recharge. The advantage of this battery is that it can be charged from 0 to 100% in just 15 minutes, which is especially beneficial compared to the previous LFP Gen 2 allowing the robo-taxi to still charge quickly and perform well even in harsh cold weather conditions. This is the only performance-related information available for this robo-taxi, at least right now. We believe Tesla soon will be announcing range and acceleration figures for this electric vehicle. Musk's announcement of unveiling the robo-taxi before the Model 2 actually has its grounds. This announcement came at a time when Tesla's full self-driving, FSD software, advertised to eventually allow vehicles to operate autonomously without a human driver was starting to garner attention and interest due to significant advancements being made. 
While it hasn't yet made cars fully autonomous, it's certainly being improved at a much faster pace. However, if the robo-taxi truly achieves autonomous driving capabilities initially, Tesla may encounter obstacles with traffic regulations. For example, Cruz, a company owned by GM, indefinitely suspended its robo-taxi service at the end of October 2023 after several accidents prompted California regulators to tighten regulations for this type of vehicle. Tesla's autonomous driving feature is also under close scrutiny, following allegations that the company marketed this feature beyond its practical capabilities. On the other hand, the launch of the robo-taxi also coincides with Tesla's slower growth, as the number of vehicles this year may remain unchanged due to no new models being introduced and high interest rates, slowing demand. Finally, not only the Tesla RoboTaxi, but by the end of this year, we will also witness a blockbuster unveiling, a Tesla vehicle that will surely set a new record and continually dominate in all drag races. The Tesla Roadster Gen 2 is exactly what we are referring to here. How mind-blowingly crazy is the Tesla Roadster 2? The Roadster was Tesla's first model, produced from 2008 to 2012. However, at that time, it was merely a modified version of the Lotus Elise. With limited production, Tesla sold just 2,400 units over the five years of production, partly due to its inaccessible price. It seemed like Tesla would end the Roadster's life cycle due to its inefficiency, but shortly after, the company announced the development of the second-generation model, surprising many with this announcement. What's more noteworthy is that Elon Musk even showcased a concept design of the Roadster Gen 2, along with the performance claims that the new Roadster could reach 60 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds, with a top speed of over 250 miles per hour and a range of 620 miles. The starting price was set at $200,000, and delivery was expected to begin in 2020. But what happened to this car afterward? Once again, Musk missed the mark on timing, as it wasn't until November 2017 that the second-generation Tesla Roadster was officially unveiled. However, the anticipation continued as the brand continuously refined its project. Now, the latest information from CEO Elon Musk indicates that deliveries may start in 2025. And he has provided some impressive, almost unbelievable figures about this new model. In recent years, there have been numerous reports about the drivetrain of the second-generation Roadster and how it has evolved over time. The latest reports indicate that the Roadster could feature a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack and three electric motors, one at the front and two at the rear, delivering over 1,000 horsepower to the supercar. Musk has claimed that the Roadster is supposed to have a torque of 7,376 pound-feet, although this figure may be closer to 758 pound-feet. In 2019, Musk said the sports car would be available with 10 rocket thrusters that would dramatically improve acceleration, top speed, braking, and cornering. Maybe they'll allow even a Tesla to fly, according to the company boss. In 2021, Musk said the car would hit 60 miles per hour in 1.1 seconds with the optional rockets. On February 28, 2024, Musk shared the latest detailed information about the second-generation Roadster on Twitter along with a statement. Tonight, we radically increased the design goals for the new Tesla Roadster. There will never be another car like this, if you could even call it a car. Tesla has unveiled many images of the new Roadster and showcased it at the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles. Musk also mentioned that the final design has been completed in recent tweets. However, this may suggest that the final car could have some changes compared to the previous images. The previous images depicted a completely different looking sports car compared to the first generation Roadster. The new car has a low profile, aggressive stance with sharp headlights. Instead of a traditional convertible, it features a removable top panel above the occupants. Inside, the driver grips a steering yoke tightly, and curved screen between the seat's handles, equipment, and entertainment tasks arranged similarly to other Tesla models. In his latest series of tweets about the Roadster, Musk also mentioned the announcement of the final design by the end of the year and the commencement of deliveries in 2025. Since its unveiling in 2017, Tesla has asserted that the new Roadster will have a starting price of $200,000, and the Founders Series version will be priced at $250,000.
There is currently no information about the price of the rocket equipped version, but it is likely to be higher. By 2021, Tesla had received $50,000 in deposits for the new Roadster. However, the company removed the car's price from its website and stopped taking reservations for this sports car. Waiting to see whether the new Roadster can be launched by the end of the year, as well as achieving the goal of deliveries by 2025, is something we need to keep an eye on. However, as of now, that's all we know about the electric supercar before its official release to the market. If Tesla could also unveil the RoboTaxi along with the new Roadster at the same event, that would be fantastic. Many people are eagerly anticipating these vehicles and what they are capable of achieving. In the end, we still aren't certain whether this car has entered the production phase. However, thanks to Musk's announcement, we know that it will be unveiled in just four months. And sometimes, we also need to accept that the Tesla RoboTaxi launching on August 8th may significantly differ from the conceptual images as those images have been around for quite some time. So Musk, along with Tesla's designers and engineers, have had plenty of time to contemplate the design of the vehicle. Most intriguing in the face of Elon Musk's announcement about the unveiling of the RoboTaxi, some opinions expressed doubt and skepticism. The Tesla CEO did not provide specific information about the exact timing, nor did he clarify whether it was August 8th of which year. This led some to express concerns that Musk may have become lazy or careless in providing detailed and timely announcements. Some asserted that this could be a sign of a new scenario in his communication strategy, a way to generate attention and mystery around Tesla's new robotaxi product. However, many also expressed concerns that Musk might be hedging his bet in case the robotaxi couldn't be launched for some reason. Then, he could just argue that it was August 8, 2025, a scenario that would end the debate. Just kidding. That's the entire content that we wanted to bring you in today's episode. So, what do you think about RoboTaxi's design and performance if it's actually released in August this year? And what do you expect from this self-driving car? We appreciate your valuable contributions. We hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.